In here we have one of the best gaming laptops on the market, but Asus sponsored this video for us to look at the box. So let's, let's have a look. Let's see here. Is this the cool box? Oh, hell yeah. It's cap time. This is the Alan Walker edition Zephyrus G14. Absolutely love the Zephyrus G14. Not 100% sure who Alan Walker is. He's a DJ who is massive. I looked up one of his videos, has like billions of views. I'm, I'm not one of them. <laughs> <laughs> it seemed like good music. I don't know. I, yeah. He's only 24, damn. How many views does LTT have just like overall? It'd be brutal if he has like one music video that's more than our entire lives worth. Oh, we've got some socks. I'm not gonna give Wikifeet any fodder. And a power brick. Real simple, 180 watts. It is half a powerful one. And a C to C cord? Sure. I do believe that it does have type C charging. I don't know what it's up to on this one, but the last one was 60 watts. So this one is probably about the same. Is this the cool box? This looks like a really good laptop case. Yeah, fancy. This does seem like it is seatbelt. Feels very strong. <laughs> That's a nice little carrying case. Okay, okay. Where's the cool box? Oh, it's actually the box of the laptop, it would appear. This way. <laughs> Join the walkers. Sure. What walker? Well. So I believe these are all like capacitive buttons basically that allow you to DJ. Well, we'll see how good I do at that, but <laughs> yeah, I like making music. It's all bad though. Damn. Okay, this is actually really nice. Like the details on here, they have like the seatbelt material put right into the lid. This is a very nice box, Asus. Oh, it's in the laptop. Yeah, it's in the laptop. I yeah. It was like a box for the laptop. <laughs> no, this, this thing looks sick. Damn. I do have to say, this is a mighty fine looking laptop. <laughs> and what else do we have in here? G Series, gaming notebook PC, warranty, don't care. But I think I see other stuff. Huh. So let's have a little look at what they have going on in here. I feel like we're not supposed to take the top off, but we did. Um, <laughs> so we have a little board here. The type C that they had included goes right in there. What is this? I don't wanna pull it out and break it, but I do wanna know what it is. I'm assuming it's a Raspberry Pi or an Arduino, but I can't see the bits that would tell me what it actually is. We'll get the laptop running, then we'll have a little look at the box. All right, let's turn this guy on. So we've got this fancy Alan Walker background. We're also gonna plug it in. Yeah, the blue looks really cool with the like gray and black as well. A plus color scheme, Mr. Walker. <laughs> Virtual pet? Okay, I've got to see this. I just clicked on virtual pet. Is it doing anything on the back? Oh, that's fun. Can I just put whatever I want on here? Did that work, Brandon? Hell yeah. <laughs> I'll add in a couple more. Why is it flashing now? Oh, Brandon, so you said this might drain the battery. There is a thing that you can do so that at a certain battery level, it'll turn it off. Oh, wait, no, I'm wrong. Um, <laughs> you can have it display your battery level. Okay, I was hoping I could just figure it out, but I think that I need to look at that QR code. Where did that go? Okay, it took me to a video. <laughs> Okay, it seems like you just plug it in and it works. <laughs> oh yeah, since I guess we're plugging this in, we can show off the IO. So DC power in right here, full size HDMI, love to see that. We also have USB type C, audio out, 3.5 millimeter, another type C and two type A's. So, you know, for a gaming laptop these days, that's pretty freaking great. And let's get this thing going. I really hope it just launches the app. That would be fantastic. Hell yeah, it just launched the app, perfect. Hit play now. Oh, it works, yay. Oh, 
Okay, so we have a low pass filter here. Make it more faster. Now it's like a video game. <laughs> Samplers. <laughs> okay, so this allows me to change what samples I have. Okay. Samples two. What? Oh, I like that one. <laughs> I wish that they had just a drum one. I guess that's kind of number two. Then again, you probably just use this as a drum, like. But it's not recorded though. <laughs> it doesn't have the snap that I was hoping for. <laughs> There's a lot of latency. That's the thing that I always hate about things like this. You have to use like a special USB interface protocol basically for it not to have brutal latency. So it's like, cause that little bit of a delay is way more than enough for everything to sound terrible. So yeah, there's a bit of fun to be had with the box. As far as laptop boxes go, this is probably the best one for creating music that I've ever seen. <laughs> but the latency is way better on this. <laughs> cause like, you can't do that on this thing. Like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, okay, we're, 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 we're moving on. <laughs> Back to the laptop though. The Zephyrus G14 was basically the best gaming laptop of 2020. It was the first one that came out with Ryzen 4000 and just, just punted all of the competition, just completely destroyed all of them. So let's take a look at the specs here. So we have the Ryzen 9 5900HS. That's basically the fastest mobile processor that you can get at least in a laptop that's of this size. We also have 16 gigabytes of RAM. The Wi-Fi card's a MediaTek Wi-Fi 6 one. Uh, in my experience, they're fine, but the drivers, they just need to be a bit more mature. And for the GPU, it's an RTX 3050 Ti. Now this is kind of where the Alan Walker edition is a bit of a disappointment. So this right here is a $2,000 laptop where you're paying for a hat and a cool box, but you can also get a G14 for $450 less with an RTX 3060. So if you want one that looks cool, you get this one but if you want one that's cheaper and faster, you get the one with the 3060. <laughs> Actually, it is kind of a noof, Jono. I, I wish that this one was $200 more and had a 3060 in it. Cause like, when you're making funky versions of stuff, just make it the best one. This thing will be a beast for music making. Like, you've got the CPU, it could use maybe a bit more RAM, but at the same time, we'll open up later, you can upgrade it. And we also have a one terabyte SSD from Samsung, so. Moving on from the inside to the outside though, the G14 is just a fantastically built laptop. Like it's a magnesium alloy chassis, very stiff. You can see like a little bit of deflection if you're pushing in the center there, but like it's really good feeling. The trackpad, I do wish it was slightly bigger, mostly because Asus gave us the G15 now that has one of the best trackpads on a gaming laptop on the market. I would really like to see something a bit more like this. Then again, you're probably not gonna care too much about the trackpad size, cause like, it's good. And this thing's really small and light. Like, Asus did do a fantastic job. This one's actually the M16. But the G14 is just so much easier to like chuck in your backpack, take around. It's shockingly light for how much power and performance there is in here. Moving on to the keyboard. Yeah, there's plenty of travel. It doesn't quite have the snappiness of some other keyboards, but it's the kind of thing where when it's a gaming laptop, you wanna be able to easily press it. And also like, you're gonna be holding down W. You don't want to have a whole bunch of force pushing back up. It's much nicer to have just that like lighter actuation. Even if it does lightly harm your typing, it helps you a lot of games. All the way for the GPU drivers to install, 
Another thing that's fantastic about this laptop is that in the power button, there is a fingerprint reader, but it does it so that when you press it, it caches your fingerprint. So when it's brought up by Windows, it just gives it your authentication and you only have to press the power button once. Sick, it's so good. There's obviously no Windows Hello because there's no webcam. Uh, if you want a webcam, don't buy this, I guess. Or you can just get an external one. They normally look way better than what you get anyway. Oh yes, I just checked and they do have the AI noise cancellation software. So you're not able to see yourself, but at least if you're playing games with people on Discord, you're gonna sound decent. Just gonna hop into Valheim, have a little run around. All right, so unsurprisingly, Valheim runs excellently. It also, like the fans ramped up, but it really isn't all that loud and we're in the performance setting. So this is as loud as it gets basically. We have a 1440p panel that is 120 Hertz and it looks friggin fantastic. It's also color calibrated and no complaints. This is basically just like the panel to have on a laptop these days. Look at that sky, beautiful. The nice old tree, I forget what it's called, but it's a good tree. <laughs> Valheim's confirmed good, but will a 3050 Ti be able to hold up to Cyberpunk? Okay, we're just going high graphics. That should be fine. 1440p. Okay, this, this looks really good actually. Oh. Uh, we are getting a couple of drops here and there. So maybe high details, not quite what you'll be able to do on this system. You're looking probably more along the lines of like medium high-ish. This seems like the kind of thing where I could tweak one or two settings and get a solid gameplay experience instead of right now where it's mostly good. Then again, it might also just be this game. Okay, can I just get like in a gun battle? Yeah, I'm just shooting people to try and... Okay, there's there's someone. Well, I'm dead. But the game looks really good, so <laughs> there you go. Do you know what also looks really good? The inside of this laptop, I imagine. Let's find out. All right, took it apart. I really like that they have a captive screw here that pops the chassis open. It makes getting in just that little bit easier. You don't have to... Yeah, it's just very easy. So for RAM, they have eight gigabytes of it on board. You can't do anything with that, but you do also have one sodium slot so you can swap that out. So you could get like 24 gigabytes of RAM. You could also put a 32 gig stick in there and have what, 40? Yeah, math is hard. We also can see our wonderful SSD right here. Wow, that's a lot smaller than I was expecting for a one terabyte, but that's fine. We also have a 76 watt hour battery. So the last one had over 10 hours of battery life, which was like at the time unheard of in a gaming laptop. AMD is fantastic for having good battery life. This one right here, I can't confirm it, but I'm guessing it's pretty much the same. Like this is such a great laptop for like using as a laptop for school or work or what have you. And also as a gaming laptop, you don't have to have just like your battle station laptop. It's the sort of thing you can use everywhere and it's not really compromised. Zephyrus G14, fantastic laptop. Should you get the Allen Walker edition? If you think it looks cool, then sure, go for it. But I'd probably get the one that's a lot cheaper and also faster. So huge thanks again to Asus for sponsoring this video. G14, fantastic laptop. It's probably linked right down there. And just have a fantastic day. Like, get subscribed, so long.